<coughs> okay, hello guys, what's up? Um, been a bit active lately, but I've got some projects working on. So let's get down to it. I'm just going to be showing you simple rigging. There is a pack that I got um, off YouTube model pack for combat arms inside that there was some animation files let's see uh, on, yeah. animation files B that bvh files so basically I'll be showing you how to use these alright so let's open that up scale 135 and oh hold on no first we're going to open the model itself my bad and just choose anyone okay and then we have it and we're going to go merge and then go back and select anyone and it should be 135 centimeters that way when you do that it will come perfectly at the size of the the um model you're going to be rigging it to so now we click double click this icon up here which actually hides it and then click on the shoulder joint and then unhide and carry this down for the respects of the tutorial it's not going to be exactly perfect as you can see but when you are rigging it, it should be near perfect because of course you can't get it exactly perfect. It should be near perfect. So that when you're animating the um, the parts of the, the um the model doesn't get all weird. You'll see in a second what I mean. Let's click the feet now right at the hip and try that over and repeat the same step yeah that looks all right now we made this a child of the model um if for example you're doing a model that has more than one parts like for instance this only has one part it doesn't have any children or anything you could um, try doing the same step by using null objects to group it or you could just select all of them and connect objects so you'd have it into one object and just keep a copy of the original file as a reference just in case you made any mistakes so you can go back and do whatever with it all right so now with the skeleton selected Let's go to character and skin and then make the skin child of the, the Zadan the model again and then highlight all of them all of them and then select children and then go back to character commands bind there you go it's rigged so you see when the model is not done correctly when the skeleton is not lined up correctly with the model things like this happen it also has to do with the weight tag but that's for a more advanced tutorial i'll be doing one more again because i'm currently working on a simple tool that instead of just using movement files that are static and use a tool and easily maneuver to make your own animations because for some people the actual character um, the actual character uh, tab that they have for Sigma 4D is a bit advanced so I'll be doing a simple one show you I'll just give you a quick preview of it as well uh, let's see rig test here we go okay this is a simple one 
as you can see these are the controls that I have here set up um, this is for the head still in the works so there's still a few bugs to sort out with regards to the shoulder and all of that and also with animating because there's a slight problem when moving these as you can see I have this little problem where instead of just moving up it does that and even when animating backwards I believe it's only that one that does that because there was a bit of work that I did with the elbow joint over here I still haven't quite removed that but it's a simple project for me I guess so thank you guys for checking out my tutorials um, leave a like if you have any questions about the tutorial that I just posted feel free to comment um, I'll also be leaving the pack the entire pack itself with the models included and also um, gears that you can actually use to customize the model to make your own custom looking combat arms model basically I won't be leaving other um, models because I have a lot of models and that would be far too how you say far too much space to actually upload onto me the fire you know so probably later on I could release some more tutor some more models I believe in the combat arms model and I believe a Call of Duty model are more than one of them as well so yeah Thanks again guys, see you later.